Hello, this is Colin Harris from Nowhere, continuing the series on hooking up SAS in Excel. This is the first part of the uh, different techniques. We have 11 techniques we're going to cover, and this first technique is Enterprise Guide Export. So what we're going to use is the SAS Enterprise Guide Export Wizard to get information from SAS out into Excel. What is it? What is the EG Export Wizard? Well, it is a simple wizard, an enterprise guide. A wizard, in terms of the general sense of the term, very straightforward to follow through, follow through some prompts, and it just leads you through as uh, the various questions to do what you need to do. The wizard not only exports in an Excel format, but exports in a whole range of other formats as well. Flat files, and a range of other formats that we'll see a little bit later on the screenshot. What type of technique is this? It's a SAS push. So we're pushing information from SAS out to Excel. And the type of information that's being transferred is data. A SAS table is being transferred out to Excel as opposed to information as the result of a procedure. What's it good for? It's good for one-off creation of Excel spreadsheets. And what it does, it creates new or overwrites existing spreadsheets. So it's not updating an existing spreadsheet, it's overwriting what is already there. So let's move on to our example. This is the table we're going to use throughout the whole series, so get familiar with that if you follow the series through. So it's a simple table listing a variety of car types. This comes as part of the normal SAS, um, SAS help library, so it's data that all of you will have. If you have a look across um, some of the simple columns there, so we've got the make of the car, the model of the car, the type of the car, the origin, so if it's from Asia or Europe or America, and a few other variables like that, so pretty straightforward to understand. So first of all, uh, we're going to show you the send to option from Enterprise Guide. This is not using the full wizard, but it gives you a simple, what I call a simple one-touch way of getting the information out to Excel very, very quickly indeed. There's a number of different ways to do this. Uh, here we are doing it from the data grid, and you'll see at the top of the data grid, if I move my mouse across, we've got the various options at the top of the data grid. We have export, which we'll come on to later, and to the right of that, the send to option. So if I click on send to, you can see down the list I could send it out to Word or send it out to Excel. That's one way to get to send to. I can also, from the process flow, click on the table that I'm interested in, do a right mouse click, and as you see, we can go down to the send to option again and go down to send to Excel. Now, what I mean by one touch, I click on that send to Excel, and automatically the data is transferred out to Excel. Excel fires up and shows you the resulting spreadsheet. So it really, really is quick and simple to use that send to option. If we go a bit further and now use the full export wizard, we can do it in the same way as we did with send to, the two different approaches. I'm going back from the process flow as a third option, going file, then down to the export, and export cars, click enter and it will lead us through a couple of different prompts saying are we at the bottom of the screen now what is the name of the spreadsheet that you're going to create and we give it that name and we're saying what type of the um, format what file format are we going to write out to and if we have a look at the list quite a long list of different types of file formats we can use including older formats that people may still be using like dbase files or lotus files text files um, but we're going to go down and of course choose the third one down which is microsoft excel chose that click on the option and again it automatically fires up excel for us and shows us that spreadsheet which again is very or exactly the same really as the send to just a plain vanilla Excel spreadsheet with that data transferred through to Excel. Okay, so that's this technique. What are the advantages or the pros of this technique? As you've seen, very quick and simple to use. No coding at all or programming. 
it doesn't need any additional products just base SAS and of course being able to run enterprise guide is fine it allows you to do what uh, you want to do um, the negatives or the cons of it it's just simple it's just for simple one-offs because each time you want to do this you need to click through click 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 produce the result yes it's very quick for doing that one off but if you want to do hundreds of spreadsheets you're going to be doing lots of clicking so it really is just that one off no formatting as you've seen the result is simply that data coming across and we'll see some of the later techniques allow you to have much nicer formatting different fonts different colors and so on where this is just simply plain data transferred across into Excel and that is that technique thanks for watching this video which is part of a series on hooking up SAS in Excel the full PowerPoint presentation is available at nowhere.co.nz which includes references to good papers that provide more details.